Okay, hi everyone. I'm Manu from UX Bootcamp. Um, I'll show you my my mobile mobile app that I I, I will did the, the, all the process in UX. So the problem I detecting an issue in my own life. Um, at first, uh, I was asking all my friends and people who are around me to define if it's uh, a good option or, or not a good option to develop. So uh, what happened when you, when you open the fridge and see just two or three ingredients? And even if you have a lot of ingredients or do you don't have time, you don't have time to, to think about keywords, to, to search in internet. So, my research, my research, I was collecting all the data from interviews, user types, persona, and information architecture at the end of the process. So the audience, new dishes, person have with intolerance, allergics, or have no time to search. Competitors, I found five um, app. For, uh, this is the, the top five from Google Play Store uh, with a million downloaded. And then I found it a, a website similar to my proposal, but on desktop version. This is my friend, foods.com. So I was created the user type, just one user type, but with a male, female from early 30s to mid 40s. Mid text, user, etc. One persona, Rocio, 30 years old, Spanish, in a relationship, and all the things that she has. Bot personality. It is uh, my application, it's a bot. So I was created a personality of the, of the, of the bot. So this is the, the personality. So help me the, to define the different copy to the, to the application. Information architecture, this is the most important thing. This, I choose grandma, because grandma uh, has empathy and you trust because you think that it's the, the one thing that, that, that they say, that she said, you do it. So this is the, the, the most important. So the interface. I talked about the interface, visual design, UI icons, or components. This is my main, uh, my three main screens. So I'll take the, the middle of one because it's the first one that you, you can uh, interact. So, so at the bottom of the, the slide, you have, of the screen, sorry, you have the, the three input methods, camera, chat, and voice, that you can enter the, to, to put the ingredients into the, the search. So here, you have the different components that I use that the chatbot used uh, to interact with the, with the user. Um, here you, I have the prototype. This is a proof of concept. It's not a final one. And I can show you what it's happening. OK, sorry. It's in Spanish. So sorry to people who don't know, because I, I, I needed to translate it, because the final user was in Spanish. So. I did it in a in, uh, bot society framework. And this is the interaction from the bot to the user. <clears throat> yeah, three questions. Uh, OK, fir first question, ask about the time. What time do you have to, to cook? 
then the, the basic ingredients that you have. And second, the ingredients, uh, the, the normal ingredients, like tomato, pepper, and onions. So the copy is related to, to the personality of the, of the man personality. So now they show you, um, or she show you a photo, link, other recipes, if you don't li like the, another one. And at the end, <coughs> sorry, at the end, you can share or put in favorites or whatever. So that's, that's the prototype. And here, the conclusion. Discover that was, there was a, a gap in internet, in the internet, in the market, sorry, that the user type represent a large chunk of the population, and if you should, could be changing the chatbot into a complete kitchen assistant using, uh, using the Google Home or Alexa the, from Amazon. So thank you very much. Um, I don't. <laughs>